These are the top 10 most terrifying dinosaurs to ever exist. Number 10, Tyrannosaurus Rex. Now, the king of the dinosaurs is probably the most overrated dinosaur in history. Despite seeming scary since they were around 40 feet long, stood about 12 feet at the hips, and could weigh up to 9 tons, they were most likely scavengers and were probably not looking for too many fights. And because of the square cube law, the same law that makes it possible for me to defeat Godzilla simply due to the fact that he would crumble in on himself would make the T-Rex surprisingly slow. Where they were most likely only able to reach speeds between 12 and 20 miles per hour. So if you got one of the slow ones, you would probably be able to outrun it if you are a slightly above average runner. But you would need to be a track athlete in order to outrun the fast ones. Now, this is only if you were able to see it coming at you. Since they were most likely ambush predators, being able to use their powerful legs for sudden ambush attacks, where they would then deliver a devastating bite with their bone-crushing jaws, having one of the most powerful bite forces in history, making me very thankful that they lived during the late Cretaceous period, so I will never have to fear being bitten by them in my lifetime. Number 9, Spinosaurus. Now, the dinosaur that has the same back problems as Quasimodo from the Hunchback of Notre Dame was actually the largest known carnivorous dinosaur ever discovered. Measuring between 50 and 59 feet in length and standing up to 21 feet tall, these monsters weigh between 7 and 10 tons and lived during the Cretaceous period. This unique dinosaur was well adapted for a semi-aquatic lifestyle, where unlike most theropods, Spinosaurus had a long crocodile-like snout filled with conical teeth, making it perfect for catching fish. It likely hunted massive prehistoric fish, such as the Oncoprestes, using its large claws to snatch prey from the water. Despite its main diet being fish, the Spinosaurus may have scavenged or even hunted land-based animals when absolutely necessary. Even though it suffers from the same problems that the T-Rex faced since they were only able to run at 15 miles per hour on land and were much slower in the water, its prey would still likely not be able to see it coming, since they too were prehistoric ninjas, primarily using stealth and patience rather than speed to catch their prey, making them the largest assassins to ever exist. Number 8, Velociraptor. Unlike its Hollywood portrayal in movies, Velociraptor was much smaller than people often imagine, measuring about 6.5 feet in length, standing only 2 feet tall at the hips, and weighing between 15 and 33 pounds only, they lived during the late Cretaceous period. This lightweight predator made up for its size with intelligence and razor-sharp weaponry, where they did not suffer from the same problem that the previous two dinosaurs faced, since they were capable of reaching speeds up to 24 miles per hour, meaning you would literally need to be an Olympian to outrun them. The Velociraptor was a swift and cunning hunter and was believed to have hunted in packs. They were like the African wild dogs of their era, since they were able to use coordination and agility to overwhelm prey. But even if there was only one of them, they could still run the hand, since they had a sickle-shaped claw on each foot, giving them the capability to slash and disembowel their victims. Even though they likely only targeted smaller animals and sometimes scavenged when necessary, I would still refrain from any cavemen out there keeping them as pets. Number 7, Deinonychus. Just being a Velociraptor's bigger brother, the Deinonychus measured about 10 feet long, stood around 3 feet tall, and weighed between 150 and 220 pounds. They were swift predators that lived during the early Cretaceous period, where they could reach speeds of 20 to 25 miles per hour, making it only possible for a gold medalist Olympic runner to have a chance of outrunning them. And because of this speed, they would be able to chase down prey very effectively. Another similarity that they shared with Velociraptors was that the Deinonychus was believed to have hunted in past making it an even greater threat to herbivores. You could think of them as the hyenas or wolves of the dinosaur era. But despite all of that, their most iconic feature was its 5-inch long retractable sickle claws, which were used for gripping, slashing, and delivering fatal wounds to prey. And it's because of this that scientists believe they may have targeted large herbivores like Tenontosaurus, relying on teamwork to bring down much larger creatures, giving the word mobbing a whole new meaning. Number 6, Utah Raptor. Now, if the Deinonychus was the bigger brother, then this is the daddy of all raptors. Being one of the largest from the raptor family, Utah Raptor was a terrifying predator, measuring around 20 feet long and standing 6 feet tall while also weighing between 1,000 and 1,200 pounds. So it comes as no surprise that this dinosaur was an apex predator during the early Cretaceous period. Capable of reaching speeds of around 20 miles per hour, the Utah Raptor was fast enough to chase down prey while remaining agile in combat. And again, its most fearsome feature was its sickle-shaped claw, which was much larger than that of the Velociraptor or Deinonychus, measuring at an astonishing 9 through 15 inches long, 
tongue, allowing it to deliver deep, lethal slashes to its victims. Where it too likely hunted in packs, giving them the power to target larger herbivores and use teamwork to take down much larger prey. Number 5. Carcrodontosaurus Named for its serrated shark-like teeth, the Carcharodontosaurus was one of the largest predatory dinosaurs. Also known as the African T-Rex, it comes as no surprise that this dinosaur was just a T-Rex on compound V. Living during the late Cretaceous period, it measured between 40 and 40 feet long, stood around 13 feet tall at the hips, and weighed between 6 and 15 tons. This massive carnivore was a top predator in its ecosystem, but despite being around the same size as the T-Rex and the Spinosaurus, its longer and stronger legs allowed it to move at a quicker speed on average, most likely being able to run at at least 20 miles per hour. And once it caught its prey, it would then rely on its enormous size and powerful bite to tear apart giant herbivores like Paralititan. So yeah, if you can take down a creature that weighs around 65 tons with just a few bites, then I don't doubt that you could bite through a tank like a Hershey's bar. But if Jurassic Park ever becomes a real thing, at least we wouldn't need to worry about getting gang pounded by a group of these creatures, since they were likely solitary predators, making it a tad easier for me to sleep at night. Number 4. Majungasaurus This terrifying predator from what is now Madagascar was a mid-sized carnivore that lived during the late Cretaceous. It measured around 20 through 23 feet long and stood about 7 feet tall, weighing between 1 and 1 and a half tons. It may not have been the largest theropod, but it was definitely one of the most ruthless capable of reaching speeds of 15 through 20 miles per hour. The Majungasaurus was a highly efficient hunter, equipped with a skull built for crushing bones and a powerful bite that could inflict fatal injuries on prey. But probably the most terrifying fact about this creature isn't its bone-crushing jaws. No, no, no. It's actually the fact that fossil evidence suggests Majungasaurus was the Jeffrey Dahmer of the Cretaceous period, since they most likely engaged in cannibalism, putting on full display the opportunistic and fearsome mentality that these dinosaurs had. Number 3. Carnotaurus Being straight from hell, this dinosaur lived during the late Cretaceous period, where it was a unique and dangerous predator. With its distinctive horns and incredible speed, this theropod measured between 25 and 30 feet long, stood about 10 feet tall at the hips, and weighed between 1.5 and 2 tons. Unlike many other large carnivores, Carnotaurus was built for speed, capable of reaching up to 30 miles per hour, making it one of the fastest large theropods. So, it wouldn't matter who you are, whether you're Usain Bolt or Noah Lyles, there would be no chance of you escaping this dinosaur's grasp. And because of the tremendous speed it possessed, it likely relied on surprise attacks, using its strong neck muscles and sharp teeth to deliver quick, devastating bites, making anything that comes across it look like Marco from Attack on Titan. Number 2. Allosaurus If you were wondering what a perfect killing machine would look like, then look no further than the Allosaurus, where this fearsome predator ruled the Jurassic period. Measuring between 28 and 32 feet long and standing about 10 feet tall at the hips, this agile hunter weighed between 2 and 4 tons and could achieve speeds up to 21 miles per hour, allowing it to be an active and aggressive predator. And like many other dinosaurs on this list, Allosaurus likely hunted in packs, working together to bring down large herbivores like Stegosaurus or Camptosaurus. But it wasn't just their pack that made them deadly hunters, since their group sizes were most likely not that big, only reaching about 3 members on average. Their true weapons were their sharp teeth and deadly claws. This allowed them to deliver a fatal 1-2 combo, just like Mike Tyson, using both their jaws and forelimbs to tear into and eat prey. Number 1. Giganotosaurus Now, I know that I said Allosaurus was a perfect killing machine, but this dinosaur is just straight up OD. With probably the most non-reassuring name to ever exist, the Giganotosaurus matches its description, as it was one of the largest land predators to ever walk the planet. Living during the late Cretaceous period, it measured between 40 and 43 feet long, stood about 13 feet tall at the hips, and weighed between 8 and 13 tons, making it even larger than the T-Rex. But somehow, this prank by God was still capable of reaching speeds up to 20 miles per hour, and with God wanting to keep the joke going, it is believed that this creature was a powerful predator that likely hunted in small groups, preying on massive seropods like Argentinosaurus. Using its sharp serrated teeth, it would weaken its prey with deep slashing bites before delivering a fatal attack. And just to let you know, Argentinosaurus could weigh up to 110 tons and measure up to 130 feet long, solidifying Giganotosaurus as without a doubt the most terrifying dinosaur to ever walk this planet. I think that while researching this list of the most terrifying dinosaurs to ever exist, I became closer to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ because it helped me realize how lucky we are that they either went extinct or got nerfed. Anyway, thank you all for watching, please like and subscribe Poppy, and I will see you in another episode.